And we say good evening to you from Tenora High School on this Friday night, Green Meadows Conference Basketball. I am Josh Bush here on DCTV Sports, and welcome to our Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show as we feature tonight the Tenora Rams hosting the Wayne Trace Raiders, a matchup of two boys basketball teams here in Northwest Ohio that uh, are undefeated in conference play so far. Uh, and would love to keep that streak going. Wayne Trace comes in with a record of 10 and 1, 2 and 0 in the Green Meadows Conference, tied atop those league standings uh, with the Antwerp boys and the uh, Tenora Rams come in 2 and 8 on the season, but 1 and 0 in league play so far, and uh, looking to keep that rolling here tonight. They're going to have a tough test ahead of them as they are going up against a very, very good Wayne Trace team here tonight. It's our Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll start to look at these two teams, and we'll get you set for tip-off coming up here tonight at, at Tenora High School. You're watching Boys Basketball on DCTV Sports. Welcome back to our Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show here on DC TV Sports. I am Josh Bush, Friday night Green Meadows Conference boys basketball action for you from Tenora. The Rams entertaining the Wayne Trace Raiders. For Tenora, they come in with a record of 2-8, and 1-0 in the Green Meadows Conference for their head coach, Chris Limonstall. And this is a, a team that has, well, struggled a little bit more offensively than anything else. Uh, there are two wins this season coming uh, back on December 16th on the road at Holgate. They won 51 to 41, and they picked up a win uh, against uh, league opponent Edgerton 54 uh, 52. That was uh, just a few weeks ago on January 5th, but they've uh, faced a tough go of it so far this season. Losses on the road at Bryan and Delta. Uh, they lost at Liberty Center and on the road at Kaleida. Also lo losing here at home uh, to Patrick Henry, Miller City, Wasion, and Napoleon. Some really good basketball teams uh, here in Northwest Ohio. So uh, it should be a, a tough matchup here tonight. Uh, like I said, for the Rams, uh, really their biggest struggle has been putting points up on the board. Uh, they are led in scoring by Aiden Rittenhouse, who comes in uh, who comes in on the season shooting just 38.5%. Now that sounds maybe a little bit uh, uh, a little bit out of whack, 12.6 uh, points per game. Uh, shooting well from inside the arc, but takes a ton of shots from uh, be, uh, beyond the arc in three-point land. Uh, just uh, 14 of 55, 25% there. And that takes that field goal average down. Owen oh, Ackerman, their uh, second leading scorer at 11.2 points per game. Uh, he comes in shooting just about 52%. Uh, but from there, it uh, kind of dips down. The uh, number three score is uh, 6.7. You got 5.3. So as you can see, they got a couple of guys that are shooting really, really well. But they need some folks to come back and back that up. As a team, they shoot uh, just under 44% from the, uh, from, uh, the uh, floor at 43.7, 28% from behind the arc, and 62% free throw shooters here are the Tenora Rams. So a uh, tough test ahead of them as they will uh, take on one of the uh, premier basketball programs in Northwest Ohio team we had a chance to look at uh, a couple of weeks ago at Ayersville in the Wayne Trace Raiders. So we'll see what uh, Chris Limonstall has in store for these Rams tonight as they look to do battle with the Raiders of Wayne Trace. Another time out on our Estel Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show. When we come back, we'll take a look at the opponent tonight, the Wayne Trace Raiders. We'll hear from their head coach, Jim Linder. That's all to come next here on DCTV Sports. Welcome back to Tenora High School. Josh Bush with you on this Friday night. As Can you believe this? Already day number 19 in January. 
We are cooking through this brand new year. Boys basketball tonight from Tenora. The Rams entertaining the Wayne Trace Raiders, who come in with a record of 10 and 1. They're 2 and 0 in the Green Meadows Conference, tied atop the league standings with the Antwerp Archers, who uh, that's another great program that uh, has been on a roll early on in this season. But uh, the Wayne Trace Raiders, we saw them a couple of weeks ago over at Ayersville. They handled the Pilots 70 to 31. Their other league win was uh, back on Monday. They knocked off Hicksville 70 to 46. That lone loss coming on the road at Crestview back in mid-December uh, where they fell 52-49. Uh, to 49. So this is a team that, uh, as we saw a couple of weeks ago uh, against Ayersville, comes in shooting the ball extremely, extremely well. And they are led by Brooks Lockhoff, who uh, comes in at 24.5 points per game. That is an outstanding number. He's, in fact, uh, by what all, uh, all we could tell, number two in Northwest Ohio in scoring behind Colin White of Ottawa Glandorf, who comes in at 24.6 points per game. So a little bit of a battle there for uh, the leading scorer in Northwest Ohio, but Brooks Lockoff, if you uh, remember that game against Ayersville, started off kind of uh, a little bit rough, didn't score too many points early, but uh, really turned it on late and uh, came away uh, scoring, uh, if I remember right, ended up with 21 points to lead the Raiders that night, but didn't score anything in that first quarter at all, and then really turned it on there. Didn't play much of the fourth quarter as well. So a, a really good basketball player there in Brooks Lockoff, 24.5 uh, points per game, just over three steals a game as well. And then you got some other guys that you got to deal with as well, and uh, a couple of seniors uh, that really get things done for this Wayne Trace Raiders team. Kyle Stoller, seven and a half rebounds per game. Hudson Myers, Big from behind the arc. He's 5 of 10 on uh, three-point shots and also shooting uh, just about 85% from the free-throw line as well. So you got some really, really good mixture of, of uh, players here for this Wayne Trace team. I had a chance earlier this week to chat with Jim Linder. We talked about the game tonight with the Tenora Rams as we sat down and chatted with Wayne Trace head coach Jim Linder. Well, Coach, uh, coming in uh, to Tenora on Friday night, uh, this team uh, of yours off to a great start so far. Talk about uh, what has led to the success early on in the season. Well, I think certainly our senior leadership, you know, uh, certainly with Brock Brooks and Kyle leading the way, but we have some Hudson Myers and Kale Winans, uh, Caleb Mosier. Our senior leadership's been really good this year. It always helps to have some experience. You know, we've been down the tournament trail with these guys and, um, they've played a lot of basketball games. So uh, most first and foremost, that's that. And we're getting some really good bench play this year as well. We'll talk about uh, defensively what you guys have been able to do. Have you really been able to uh, adjust and guard teams pretty well so far this this year? Yeah, the unique thing about this group is I've got a lot of uh, a lot of guys that just specialize kind of in defense and a lot of guys that just kind of specialize in offense and some that do both. Um, so what we've been able to do with this group over the last two, three years is see our opponents, see what they – the biggest thing they cause trouble with us, and uh, and we've adjusted our defense accordingly, whether it be a zone or a man or a special type of defense according to what they have. So they do a really good job adjusting. Well, uh, you're uh, off to Tenora for a Green Meadows Conference matchup with the Rams. So what do you know about Tenora? A lot of athleticism. Uh, you know, the Ackerman kid's been around for quite a while. Uh, Rittenhouse has been around for quite a while. So, uh, um, you know, they, they present some different things that we don't see quite a bit of five-out offense. Um, and, and, you know, Coach Lyman Stahl's got them playing very hard. So, and anytime you go on the road, you never know what you're going to get as far as from our own athletes. So, uh, but hopefully we've, we've put them in a position to play some big level, high level games and uh, hopefully we're ready to go. Well, Coach, I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes and uh, best of luck against Tenora. Hey, thank you. Comments of Wayne Trace head coach Jim Linder. And you hear from uh, Coach Linder, really the seniors on this team have uh, been the leaders for this group. And, uh, when you've got some experience like Hudson Myers and you've got experience like Brooks Lockhoff and you've got Kyle Stoller that's out there, uh, those are guys that have been playing this game for a long, long time. You mix in some of the young talent they've got, and this is a tough, tough Wayne Trace team uh, for anybody on any given night, and it shows by their 10-1 and record so far early on in this season. It's the 2-8 Tenor Rams, the 10-1 Wayne Trace Raiders. We'll take another timeout on our Estill Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show. When we come back, we'll uh, start to break down the starting lineups for you tonight. We'll get that national anthem and opening tip-off is minutes away from Tenora High School. You're watching Boys Basketball on DCTV Sports.
Welcome back to our Estill Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show. Josh Bush with you on this Friday night. It's boys high school basketball out of the Green Meadows Conference tonight. The Wayne Trace Raiders and the Tenora Rams. Uh, taking a look around uh, the rest of the Green Meadows Conference. Uh, boys basketball tonight. Uh, Fairview is on the road at Antwerp. Of course, the uh, Archers are sitting atop the uh, boys basketball standings in the GMC. 2-0 as well in league play and 11-1 overall. Fairview with the other team uh, alongside Sonora at 1-0 in league play. Elsewhere in the GMC, uh, the Hicksville Aces tonight uh, looking for their first league win. They're at home against uh, an Ayersville Pilot team also looking for their first league win. And Edgerton, the Bulldogs, 0-2 uh, in league play are on the road at uh, the Paulding Panthers tonight. So got some good matchups around the Green Meadows Conference. We'll do our best to uh, keep you uh, uh, abrupt or abreast to uh, any of those uh, as well. And uh, also uh, locally here in uh, Defiance County, the Bulldogs tonight are at home against the Kenton Wildcats in a uh, Western Buckeye League showdown for Defiance tonight. Well, we're just a few minutes away from tip-off here as uh, the uh, Green Meadows Conference uh, boys basketball on a Friday night. Uh, the JV game tonight uh, went the way of the Wayne Trace Raiders by a final score of 46-29. to That was actually a very entertaining game to watch. Uh, first half very, very much closer than uh, what that final score was for the JV matchup. But, uh, of course... Uh, you know, you got to play. Uh, you got to play two halves. Wayne Trace JV came out with uh, some really, really good uh, shooting to open up that second half, and were able to take the lead and stay on top of Tenora and finish that one off. Let's take a look at our starting lineups tonight, made possible by the Baker Schindler Company. First for the home team, the Tenora Rams tonight. They're going to go like this. It'll be 6'3 senior Owen Ackerman. It'll be 5'10 junior Connor Welling. A 5'11 junior Alex Homeyer, 6'2 senior Aiden Rittenhouse, and 6'2 junior Adam Spicella. That'll be your starting lineups uh, again by Baker Schindler Ready Mix Company uh, for the Tenor Rams and their head coach, Chris Limonstall. Their leading scorer again, Aiden Rittenhouse, comes in uh, scoring. Excuse me. Uh, 12.6 points per game, and he's followed closely by Owen Ackerman at 11.2 points per game. Let's slip it over and take a look at your starting lineups for the visiting team here tonight for the Wayne Trace Raiders under head coach Jim Linder. They'll go like this, a uh, six foot two senior, number uh, three, Hudson Myers, a five foot 10 sophomore, Tanner Lockhoff. Brooks Lockhoff, a six foot four senior, their leading scorer comes in at 24.5 points per game and 3.2 steals per game. A six three sophomore, Carter Clemens, and the uh, big forward, six foot three senior, Kyle Stoller. Those are your starting lineups tonight, made possible by Baker Schindler Company, and we appreciate them uh, helping us out uh, with uh, all of our uh, high school basketball broadcast throughout the season. Let's take one final time out here on our Estill Chevrolet Cadillac pregame show. When we come back, national anthem, opening tip-offs, and more. Coming your way from Tenora High School, it's boys basketball on DC TV Sports. Welcome back to Tenora High School. Josh Bush with you on this Friday night. It's boys high school basketball featuring the Rams of Tenora High School entertaining the Raiders of Wayne Trace here watching live. Hopefully you're joining us live on DC TV Sports on our YouTube channel. Good to have you along here tonight. Also a, a fun night here tonight. We've got the Defiance County Special Olympics basketball team. They uh, competed at halftime of the JV game. They'll be back out here at halftime of the varsity contest tonight uh, as well. So we're uh, looking forward to uh, what should be a fun, fun night here at Tenora for some uh, boys high school basketball. As you can see, some of the uh, Tigers cheerleaders out there on the court as well to get things going here tonight. It's the 10 and 1 Wayne Trace Raiders, the 2 and 8 Tenor Rams. Good to have you along here tonight as we are getting out on the court and getting things ready for the uh, 
opening tip-off that will be coming your way in just a few minutes here. We talked about the league standings, uh, like I said already, uh, the Wayne Trace Raiders and the Antwerp Archers tied atop the league standings at 2-0. Uh, Antwerp at 11-1 and, and uh, Wayne Trace at 10-1 and overall. And then you got a couple of teams uh, a game back. Fairview and Tenora both at 1-0 and in league play. And then uh, you've got Paulding and Ayersville 0-1. Hicksville and Edgerton at 0-2. Of course, uh, last Friday night uh, we were, missed some games <laughs> due to Mother Nature. Well, luckily we were able to uh, get games in tonight around here in Northwest Ohio. We're going to set it down to uh, courtside as we're getting set for the playing of our national anthem, courtesy of Defiance Elks 147. The Tenor Rams pep band uh, with our Elks, Defiance Elks 147 national anthem as we are getting ready for our opening tip off here tonight uh, live at Tenora High School. Uh, looking ahead as far as DC TV sports go, we've got a uh, trio of games lined up for you next week as uh, we will be at Defiance on Tuesday night for boys basketball. The uh, Bulldogs will be entertaining the uh, Archbold Blue Streaks. That's always a, a big showdown. And then next Thursday and Friday, we'll have girls and boys basketball for you as the uh, Tenora and Ayersville will match up in the Old River rivalry. Uh, girls basketball on a Tuesday night, or excuse me, on Thursday night. And then the uh, boys version on Friday night for you as well. I want to say a big thanks uh, to uh, the folks here at uh, Tenora as uh, Jake Essig, their athletic director, does a fantastic job and excited to be back here for Tenora as well. As the uh, starting lineups are being announced down on courtside and get things ready, going, ready to go here for a big showdown in the Green Meadows Conference. Of course, when you talk to coaches, they'll tell you you're looking for those goals, right? And the first goal is to take care of business in league play. Obviously, for Wayne Trace, uh, off to that 2-0 start, they would like to continue rolling on that. And uh, for uh, Tenora, they want to try and do what they can to get back on track and uh, continue their run here. Again, they're going to have to go up against a very, very good Wayne Trace team here tonight. So getting things going here as the Tenora cheerleaders are being introduced down on the court. As the you see the student section making their way down to uh, get things going as well and Tenora Rams being introduced here as we get set for courtside. Love the gym here at Tenora as well. This is, uh, as you know, a lot of new facilities around Northwest Ohio. Tenora is uh, one of those new places as the lights dim down a little bit and we'll get some spotlights on the Tenora starters as they make their way out. Minutes away from tip-off here tonight at Tenora High School, Green Meadows Conference Boys Basketball. The 2-8 Tenora Rams and the 10-1 and 
Wayne Trace Raiders. Good to have you along tonight here on DC TV Sports. Thanks for watching. If you're uh, joining us live on our YouTube channel, we love having you along for all of the high school sports. And thank you to our underwriters for making it possible for us to bring you live action from all across Northwest Ohio in high school sports. Well, the introductions are finished. The players are on the court. The referees are in position. And we are ready to go here from Tenora. Wearing their home whites, red numerals. Wayne Trace in the road wet, red, blue numerals here tonight on the court. Owen Ackerman will jump against Kyle Stoller. It's our FM opening tip off, or FM Bank opening tip off. We are underway, and Tenora will control that opening tip off as the Rams will. Bring it across the timeline. Connor Welling with it out top. Looking to set up offense on their first possession. Happy to have you along here tonight. DC TV Sports. Rams looking around the perimeter, trying to three ball left corner and a big three point shot to open things up. That is a Premier Bank three pointer. for Adam Spicella. Wayne Trace will bring it the other way. Looking to work underneath with Stoller and his layup is off, no good. Rebound will go to the Rams and they'll go quickly in transition the other way. Under the basket, up and in, that's Alex Homeyer. And it's 5-0 Tenora early on in this one. The Raiders will work back the other side patiently. Control the ball. Tanner Lockoff with it, out top. And dish it off to Brooks Lockoff, who's their leading scorer. We're going to go inside to Stoller, back outside. Three ball on the way for Hudson Myers off the iron, no good. It'll go out of bounds, and it'll be Tenor basketball. 5-0 Rams here early on in this one. Good to have you along here on DC TV Sports. Josh Bush with you on this Friday night. Looking like we're going to get a little full court pressure here out of Wayne Trace. Tenora will do what they can to break it, and they'll get it across the timeline. Dribble drive up and off glass. Alex Ritt, or excuse me, Aiden Rittenhouse. A nice move there, and it's seven nothing to Nora. As we approach the six minute mark opening quarter. The Raiders working the other way. Hudson, or excuse me, yeah, the Myers inside to Stoller. And the Raiders are on the board with their first two points of the night. Again, looking at full court press here from Wayne Trace. Tenor able to break it the other way. And a nice move inside. Alex Homeyer, who's got four points on the night now. Wayne Trace will go quickly the other way. Three point on the way and off the mark, no good. That was Tanner Lockoff. Ball will be tipped and they're gonna, oh, they're gonna say no, it was not tipped. So. Over and back, and it will go to the Rams. And I think we're going to have an early timeout. Wayne Trace is going to take a timeout. We'll take it with him. It is a first insurance group timeout. Back after this on DC TV Sports. Welcome back to Tenora High School. Josh Bush with you here on DC TV Sports as Tenora has opened up quickly here on the uh, Wayne Trace Raiders. 
And they've got a uh, early lead here, nine to two. With uh, about five, well, 523 to go in this opening quarter. Welling will bring it across the timeline for the Rams. Man-to-man -man defense for the Raiders as Tenora will continue to work around the perimeter. Looking to set up a little bit of offense here. Just slow and patient. Obviously, you know, if you get into a running match with Wayne Trace, it's not going to go well, but that pass is off the mark. I believe that was Spicella who threw it out of bounds and will come the other way with the Wayne Trace Raiders. 9-2 Tenora. As the Raiders looking to find some room here. Three ball on the way and off the front iron. That was Brooks Lockoff. Rebound sticks with Wayne Trace. Shot up no good. And the rebound will stay in. And oh, great effort there. But had his foot on the line. That was uh, Aiden Rittenhouse who uh, intercepted that pass coming back in. And uh, Coach Limenstall says, wasn't he out of bounds? Brooks lock off with it again. Another three-point shot, and it's good. A Premier Bank three-pointer for Brooks Lockoff, and he's got his first points of the night. Rams will come the other way. Rittenhouse with it. Drives the lane. Shot off the mark. No good. And a quick rebound, and in transition come the Wayne Trace Raiders. Stoller thought about the three. In the paint, turn around, jumper is good, and Kyle Stoller adds two more. And the Wayne Trace Raiders are quickly cutting this deficit now down 9 7. Opening quarter here live at Tenor on DC TV Sports. Good to have you along. Three point on the way for the Rams, and that was off the mark. Adam Spicella looking for that one. And they'll go quickly the other way. Pull up three. Good. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Brooks Lockoff. And just like that, the Raiders take the lead. And Tenora will take a timeout. A three-point, uh, Premier Bank three-pointer for Brooks Lockoff. He has six now. And the Raiders on top of Tenora, 10-9, to just like that. Tenora, 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them back after this on DC TV Sports. Out of the first insurance group timeout, Josh Pushback with you here at Tenora High School on DC TV Sports. Thanks for watching live on our YouTube channel. 10-9 Raiders on top of the Rams as we are in a quickly moving first quarter. JV was quickly moving tonight as well. Rams looking to set up some offense again. This is Rittenhouse with it out top. Dishes it off to Josh Lieb, who is checked into the ball game. Lieb, a six-foot freshman, getting uh, some good playing time here this season for the Rams. And man-to-man -man pressure from Wayne Trace, and the dish inside to Ackerman, and he's not able to keep the fingers on it. It'll go out of bounds, and we'll come back the other way with Wayne Trace. As Jim Linder is shouting instructions from the bench. Looking inside for Stoller. He'll be double teamed back out to lock off with it. Made a man miss. Another three ball. Nothing but the bottom of the net. And that is his third Premier Bank three-pointer. Nine points for Brooks Lockoff tonight. He's got nine of the 13 for Wayne Trace. Raiders lead it by 13 to nine. He's a 
tough one to deal with as he gets the steal here. He's going to pull up another three off the front iron. No good. Rebound will stay with uh, the Raiders. Down in the corner, that's Kale Winans with it, looking for somewhere to go, and it'll be taken away by the Rams. Three ball on the way. That was Rittenhouse off the mark, no good. Rebound, Raiders. Looking inside for Stoller. He's double teamed, and he'll throw it out top, just trying to find something. Well, it's an order doing a nice job of getting a little extra help on Stoller when he's in there, but nice drive for Tanner Lockoff. He gets his first points of the night. And I think we're going to have our first penalty. We'll see who this one's on. It'll be on Tanner Lockoff, his first foul, team first. And that will send Aiden Rittenhouse, the senior, to the free throw line for the Rams. He'll have two shots here. First one is up and in. A couple of substitutions coming in here. So the first free throw on the way and good for Rittenhouse. Second one is off the iron, no good, and the rebound will go to Stoller for Wayne Trace. So he makes one of the two. 15-10 Wayne Trace, opening quarter here on DC TV Sports. Stoller, little spin move, and he'll count the basket, and he'll head to the line. Nice nifty move in the lane, and he'll draw the foul. That's going to be on Aiden Rittenhouse. That'll be his first foul. As Mason McQuillan will check in for the Rams. So Stoller will look to complete the old-fashioned three-point play here. On the way and off the mark, no good. So come the other way with the Rams of Tenora. They've opened up a 17 to 10 lead here as the final minute of this first quarter ticks away. Rams will work perimeter. Thought about the three ball, now they're gonna go inside and lose control and will come quickly the other way. It's Brooks Lockoff. He's not afraid to pull up and hit that three and it's off the front iron, no good. Rebound Rams and I think we're gonna have a foul And that's going to be on Brady Miller. It'll be his first team second of the quarter. Now remember in high school basketball now, five team fouls in a quarter, and then you shoot two. The one and one is not a thing anymore. I think teams have started to adjust to it. Uh, the basketball that I've watched uh, you know, obviously changes the strategy for you a little bit, but once uh, teams have kind of gotten used to it, it Make it a little more sense. Final 20 seconds here. I think Coach Limenstahl will be happy to hold it and run a play. Take that last shot of the quarter and see what they can come away with here. As they'll work the perimeter. Looking to go baseline. And it is nowhere to go. Cooper Farrell had it down there for Tenora. And I think he thought he was going to have somebody trailing him in the corner. Nobody there. And... It'll go out of bounds. 1.9 seconds on the clock as the Raiders will inbound. We got a substitution here for Wayne Trace, so switching things up a little bit. Hudson Myers will inbound for Wayne Trace. It'll go to Stoller, half-court shot is off the backboard and no good. We've played one here at Tenora, the Wayne Trace Raiders 17 and Tenora 10. We're back after this on DC TV Sports.
Welcome back to Tenora. Josh Bush with you here on DC TV Sports. Let's get a Mark Mutz Ford stat summary. First quarter leading the way for uh, Wayne Trace. And no surprise here, Brooks Lockoff with nine. Kyle Stoller has six. And Tanner Lockoff with two for the Rams. Uh, Adam Spicella has three. Alex Homeyer a pair of uh, field goals for four. And Aiden Rittenhouse, two points here tonight. It's our Mark Mutz Ford stat summary here as we've Got one quarter in the books from Tenora High School. Josh Bush, good to have you along here tonight. Being visited by Sarah Harris upstairs. 17-10 way trace as we open up the second quarter. Raiders with possession. Looking to go inside for Stoller. He'll be double teamed again. Backdoor pass and up and in for Hudson Myers. He gets his first basket of the night. And Wayne Trace picks up right where they left off. Three ball on the way on the other side for Wayne, or excuse me, for Tenor or an Ackerman. Off the iron, no good. Quickly the other way, pull up jumper is nothing but net for Hudson Myers and make it two in a row here to open up the second quarter for Hudson Myers. 21-10 Wayne Trace on our Marcos Pizza scoreboard. Three ball on the way on the other end. Off the iron, no good. And it'll be, and we're going to have a penalty. See who this is on. That's going to be on Tenora's Aiden Rittenhouse. It'll be his second foul. Team first of the quarter. Penalty on the floor, so it'll be possession Wayne Trace. As you can see, a great shot there from our on-the-floor cameraman, Will, doing his thing. Beanie and all. And Trace, long three ball on the way, in and out, no good. That was Kale Winans with it. We're going to have a penalty on the floor. And that's going to be on Carter Clemens of Wayne Trace. It'll be his first, team first of the quarter. So Tenora will inbound onto their own basket. And it looks like Wayne Trace is going to bring the pressure once again. Tenora did a nice job in that first quarter of being able to break that press. See if they can continue with that. As they will, now they'll break it right away. Looking to go down under the basket, back out for three. Nope, he thought about it. Now he'll take that jumper and in for Aiden Rittenhouse. Rams get their first points of the quarter. Quickly the other way. Raiders with it. Out top, this is Stoller. Then back to Hudson Myers. Back outside to Winans. Stoller again, off the front iron, no good. Rebound with the Rams. That'll be Adam, Adam Spicella, who is a rebounding machine tonight for the Rams. And he'll go coast to coast. Looking for it was uh, Aiden Rittenhouse. It'll spin the rim and out. Raiders work quickly the other way. Winans for three. Back of the iron, no good. And it'll be another rebound for Spicella. Doing a nice job on the boards tonight for the Rams. Tenora will work inside out. Drives the lane, layup is up and good. Owen Ackerman. The six foot three senior. 21 14. Wayne Trace lead cut to seven. As it looks like, I was going to say for a minute there that maybe Wayne Trace was starting to slow things down a little bit, but. He'll run a very fast pace under the basket for Winans. They're going to say no. Penalty was before the shot. It's going to be on Adam Spicello. That'll be his first team second of the quarter. So Connor Welling back into the game for Tenora. Brooks Lockoff and Brady Miller back in for Wayne Trace. And a fast-paced opening half. Under the basket was Hudson Myers. He'll go out to Stoller. Spin move in the lane. Lays it up and in. Kyle Stoller. 
He's got eight on the night. Back the other way with Tenora. Working around the perimeter. Ackerman with it. Now over to Rittenhouse. Thought about that long three. Thought better of it. And you can see the change of pace here for Tenora. They want to slow this game down. Work the ball. And then tight man to man and a steal there from Hudson Myers. He'll go the other way. Lays it up and in. Hudson Myers. Six points in the quarter now for Hudson Myers. And the Wayne Trace Sr. has the Raiders out to a 25 14 lead. As we approach the four minute mark, second quarter. Man to man defense on the other end for Wayne Trace. Welling with it. Over to Ackerman. Not being challenged by long three from Spicella. He drains it. Adam Spicella, his second Premier Bank three-pointer of the night. And a, maybe the spark that the Rams need here. Hudson Myers the other way in the corner. They'll work the perimeter. Looking for Brooks Lockoff. He'll drive, floats it up, and off the iron, no good. Kyle Stoller, three ball off the back of the iron, no good. And a rebound to Spicella. I'm not uh, keeping track of rebounds tonight, but that young man's got a lot. And he'll dish it off for an easy two points for Aiden Rittenhouse. And I think Coach Linder is going to take a timeout here as that lead has been cut to six. 25-19, Wayne Trace. It is a first insurance group timeout. We'll take it with them. We're back after this on DC TV Sports. Welcome back to Tenora as the uh, Wayne Trace Raiders seeing their lead quickly cut in by this uh, Tenora offense. And uh, Coach Linder, you can see him uh, with the players on the bench over there going, hey, guys, let's get this together. Let's get things rolling here. And now the Raiders shooting a little bit better in that first quarter than they are now in this second quarter. So maybe settle down a little bit, take some cleaner shots and as many coaches will tell you one more pass can do wonders for you so Wayne Trace will inbound from the sideline 25 19 Raiders just over three minutes left in the half you can see coach Linder on the bench going let's pick up the pace here let's get things moving Hudson Myers drives the lane up and off and no good rebound to Nora as uh, Connor Welling will bring it down and take it the other way for Tenora. Over to Rittenhouse. He'll dish it off to Spicella, and he'll be blocked in the lane. That was Stoller who got a paw on it. And Brooks Lockoff brings it quickly the other way, and he'll throw it into the arms of Adam Spicella for the Rams, and it's a turnover Wayne Trace, and we'll go back the other way. Spicella looking to go inside. He dished it to Welling. Now they'll go back out and reset a little bit. Aiden Rittenhouse and dump it off to Ackerman. Now they'll go underneath a spin move layup. Alex Homeyer. Quickly the other way. Kyle Stoller. Spin move lays it up and in. And Kyle Stoller. Now leading the way for the Raiders with 10 on the night. Back the other way, a little floating layup for Connor Welling. Connor Welling, the junior, gets his first points of the night here. And 
Just like that, we go quickly back the other way. Tanner Lockhoff will drive the lane. Lays it up and in. 90 seconds in the half, 29-23 Raiders. Tenora looks like they might want to slow this back down a little bit. Now work that perimeter over to Rittenhouse. Guarded by Hudson Myers. Now over to Josh Lieb. Spicella long three, drains it. And Spicella, a Premier Bank three-pointer. He's got nine on the night now for the Rams. And a steal at midcourt. They'll work it back over. Lieb looks to go inside and underneath to Rittenhouse. And just a little too much sauce on that one. Tenora here. Little spark, and they've cut that lead down 29 26. Final 45 seconds of our opening half coming your way. It's been a fast moving opening half here from Tenora High School. As the Raiders, maybe Coach Linder saying, let's. Slow this down, take one shot before halftime, and Kale Winans looks over to Coach Linder. 20 seconds in rolling, not being challenged. He'll hand it off to Brooks Lockoff. Their leading scorer, who's guarded by Alex Homeyer. He'll work to the right. Now Spicella on him, looks backdoor pass. Stoller lays it up and in. A nifty move to get that one into Stoller. And uh, Tenora looking to come the other way. They're going to try and get one off before the end of the half. And we're going to get a penalty at the buzzer. He had ball, but I think Linder's saying he had the ball, but I think he's saying there's a little body in there too. So Brooks Lockhoff will pick up his first foul. And that will send Alex Homeyer to the free throw line. He'll be all by himself. And the first one is up and in, so Holmeyer makes his first one. He's got another. Time has expired, so this will be the end of the half. And it is up and in. He makes them both, so we've reached halftime. Wayne Trace 31, Tenora 28, a three-point game. At one point, this was uh, easily a 10-11 point game. They've cut that lead to three, 31 to 28. It's time for our Midwest Community Federal Credit Union halftime show. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back. We'll get you some first half stats. We'll even take a look at some of the uh, Defiance County uh, Special Olympics players that will be out here competing at halftime. That's all to come on our Midwest Community Federal Credit Union halftime show. Wayne Trace, 31, Sonora, 28. We're back after this on DC TV Sports. Welcome back to our Midwest Community Federal Credit Union Halftime Show. I am Josh Bush with you here on DC TV Sports as the Wayne Trace Raiders are in the locker room with a 31 to 28 halftime lead. Let's uh, take a few minutes here and watch a little bit of this Defiance County Special Olympics players as we've got some, I'll tell you what, we watch these guys at halftime of the JV game and they are having a blast out there. And the crowd loves it as well. So we'll uh, check out some of the action down on the court. We actually uh, had the opportunity to see them at Ayersville a couple of weeks ago. I've had the opportunity to see them at uh, Defiance as well in my games over there. 
and they've got a uh, great crew that helps them out. Look at that shot just off the mark. I understand the young man uh, wearing number two scored his 1,000th career point a little bit earlier this year as well. Some pretty cool stuff. And 23, I tell you what, she has been so close to a three-pointer all night. Coach is going to show him, take it down there, dishes it off, off of the backboard, and we'll come the other way. Shot up and in, just like that. Coast to coast, my friend. Three-pointer, long one off the iron. We're going to come the other way. Pass inside. Anthony's got himself one there. And we love it. For that layup. Drives the lane, lays it up and in. Make that three ball. Oh, try to bank it. Anthony with another one. I love the one-handed shot. Again, the Defiance County Special Olympics Tigers. Competing here at halftime. She's been so close to that three point shot all night. All right, let's take another time out here on our Midwest Community Federal Credit Union halftime show. Wayne Trace leading to North 31-28. We're back with more after this on DCTV Sports. Welcome back to our Midwest Community Federal Credit Union Halftime Show. Josh Bush with you here tonight on DC TV Sports. With half is the uh, Wayne Trace Raiders on top of the Tenor Rams, 31 to 28. Three-point shot there in the corner. I'll tell you what, the crowd goes wild. I love it. Let's take a look at some stats here tonight. Let's get a uh, Mark Motes Ford stat summary. Let's uh, take a look first at the uh, Wayne Trace Raiders. Uh, they are led in scoring by Kyle Stoller, who has 12 points tonight. Brooks Lockoff has been a little bit quiet. He comes in as their leading scorer. He's uh, averaging over uh, 24 points a game, and he's got just nine. All of those came in the first quarter. He hit three three-pointers in that first quarter. He's got nine. Hudson Myers had six in the second quarter, and Tanner Lockoff a pair of field goals for four. And that uh, adds up to 31, if my math is correct, for the Wayne Trace Raiders. For Tenora, uh, they are led in scoring by Adam Spicella, who has drained three three-pointers himself tonight. Uh, and then it's uh, very well spread out from there. Alex Homeyer uh, has eight. Aiden Rittenhouse with seven. And then uh, two points each for Owen Ackerman and Connor Welling. 
and that gives them their 28. Really fairly uh, clean basketball game for uh, both of these teams as well. Just uh, three team fouls in that first half for Tenora and just four in that team in that first half for Wayne Trey. So uh, nobody's really going to be, uh, Aiden Rittenhouse of Tenora has two, uh, two personal fouls. So nobody really going to be in foul trouble as far as uh, that goes in that second, in this uh, upcoming second half. But uh, there's your uh, Mark Motes Ford stat summary. And it all adds up to a Wayne Trace lead here at halftime, 31 to 28. Another three-pointer. How about that? The crowd goes wild for the Defiance County Special Olympics folks. Having a blast out there, and we love seeing it. Let's take another time out on our Midwest Community Federal Credit Union halftime show. When we come back, we'll get you set for the second half here tonight on, uh, of, uh, at Tenora. It's 31-28, Wayne Trace. We're back with that more after this on DC TV Sports. Welcome back to Tenora High School. We're at halftime here, our Midwest Community Federal Credit Union halftime show. Wayne Trace on top of Tenora, 31 to 28. And uh, thanks to our friends at Midwest Community Federal Credit Union taking care of our halftime show here tonight. Let's take a look at, uh, well, we'll see if we can get a couple of scores from around Northwest Ohio. I'll tell you this, there uh, may not be a ton we are way ahead of schedule, so let's see uh, what we got here. Halftime at Defiance, Bulldogs on top of Kenton, 23 to 18, so a close one there. Ottawa Glandorf leads Bath, 23 to 11. That game is in the second quarter. Oops. Not seeing anything so far out of the Green Meadows Conference as far as scores. Oh, I take that back. Paulding on top of Edgerton, 22 to eight. That game is last reported in the first quarter. Delta leads Bryan, 17 to nine. That game in the second quarter, or that update, I should say, in the second quarter. And that's about all I got for you so far. So we'll try to keep our eyes on a few scores as we move through the night, but. A close one here. Wayne Trace on top of Tenora, 31 to 20 in our halftime show again, brought to you by Midwest Community Federal Credit Union. Tenora will open up the second half with the basketball. The Tenora Pep Band getting some love. And it'll be Spicella to inbound here for Tenora, the Rams. We'll work back towards this end of the court near our perch here in the corner. I don't know what you want to call this, the landing, if you will. Spicella, three ball off the back iron, no good. It'll be rebounded by Wayne Trace, and I think we're going to have a jump ball. Possession will favor the Wayne Trace Raiders. Now it looks like we're going to see a little... A little token pressure here from the Rams as Lockup will bring it across the timeline. And we'll work it around the perimeter. Tanner Lockoff. Now back to Brooks Lockoff. He throws it to no one in particular, but nice heads up play there by Tanner Lockoff to grab that one. Possession stays with Wayne Trace. Looking to go inside for Stoller. He'll be double teamed again underneath the basket. And two points up and in for Carter Clemens. 
The sophomore has his first basket of the night. And we go quickly the other way, just like that. And Owen Ackerman will lay it up and in for Tenora. And the Rams will take a quick 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. It's a first insurance group timeout, 33-30. to 30. Wayne Trace on top of Tenora. We're back after this on DC TV Sports. We're out of the first insurance group timeout. 33-30 Raiders on top of the Rams. And the opening minute of our third quarter. Josh Bush with you here on DC TV Sports. Thanks for tuning in live tonight on our YouTube channel. Good to have you along. Raiders will inbound. The 10-1 Wayne Trace Raiders, the 2-8 Tenor Rams. Stoller with it. It's baseline working against Spicella, and it'll be off the iron, no good. Rebound Rams, they'll quick work it the other way. Outlet passes out of the outstretched hands of Owen Ackerman. It'll go out of bounds, and a Tenora turnover. I'll tell you, you had a nice thought there. Ackerman was uh, breaking out on his own and just a little too strong with the outlet pass. Raiders will... Work that perimeter. Brooks Lockoff, who has been quiet since that first quarter, had three threes in that first quarter, and we're going to get a Tenora foul away from the basket as Owen Ackerman will get caught reaching in on Brooks Lockoff. That's his first team first of the quarter. Tanner Lockoff with it. Into the corner to Myers. Now Brooks, that three ball off the iron, no good. Rebound to Nora. That's his favorite spot, if you've noticed. He takes a lot of shots from that left side. Rams will come the other way. Down to a one possession game here, 33-30 Raiders. Tenora will be patient, work the perimeter. We saw a lot of this in the first half out of Tenora. Kind of slow that temple down. Not running with Wayne Trace. Three ball on the way off the mark. No good for Spicella. Rebound to Nora. They're trying to go back inside to Spicella. He'll save it. Around the horn they go. Three ball left uh, right side. And it's up and in. Owen Ackerman. A Premier Bank three-pointer. And it's a tied ball game at 5.27 to go in their third quarter. Brooks Lockhoff will drive the lane. Shot is no good, but he's going to draw the foul. And I believe that's going to be on Owen Ackerman, his second, team's second of the quarter. So Brooks Lockoff will go to the free throw line. First one is up and in. And that is his first point since the first quarter. And we saw him go quiet a little bit against Ayersville a couple of weeks ago and then just absolutely turned it on. Second one is in and out, no good. So he'll go one for two. Rebound to, stays with Wayne Trace. It'll be laid it up, up and in by Carter Clemens. Wayne Trace back at a three-point lead, 36-33. Slowing it down once again. Connor Welling with it. Out near the midcourt strike. Not being challenged here at all. It's a lot of man-to-man -man defense from the Raiders in the first half. Now they've switched to a zone. Tenora maybe trying to see what they can do against it. Welling with it. Trying to work the perimeter. Left corner. Thought about the three ball. And Rittenhouse gets it out. Going to go back up top. Willing's going to come back out to that Tenora T. Not being pressured. Looking for Ackerman. Now over to Rittenhouse. 
by Cello. Back out. Thought about the three. Here's Ackerman with it. Over to Alex Homeyer. Four minutes in rolling third quarter. A lengthy possession here for the Rams. Rittenhouse back to Welling. Back over to Homeyer. And right now, Sonora just doing what they can as uh, Brooks Lockoff will punch it out of the hands of Aiden Rittenhouse. It'll go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Rams. Connor Welling will inbound for Tenora. Right in front of their student section. He'll come left corner. This is Spicella with it. And his pass is tipped away and stolen by Wayne Trace. The other way, looking to go underneath and lays it up and in. And another easy two for Carter Clemens. The Wayne Trace lead now at five. 38-33. Spicella with it. Guarded heavily, as I think Linder said, we're not going to play this slow pace. We want to try and force some turnovers here. Turning up the pressure on D. Double team in the corner is Picella, looking to go in the lane to Homeyer. He loses control, and it'll be picked up by the Raiders. Outlet pass down to Tanner Lockoff. Three ball in and out, no good for Kyle Stoller. And the rebound to Spicella for Tenora. Rams will bring it the other way. Spicella double teamed. And his pass tipped and stolen away by Wayne Trace. Brooks Lockoff, three ball in and good. Brooks Lockoff. The Wayne Trace lead now at 8, 41-33. Tenora working a little inside out. And thought they might call a foul there, but not happening. Raiders bring it back the other way. This is Brooks Lockoff with it, looking to go no look inside. Kyle Stoller lays it up and in. His first basket of the second half and a timeout. Tenora, we're going to take it with him. Wayne Trace, 43. Tenora, 33. We're back after this. It's a first insurance group timeout on DC TV Sports. Welcome back to Tenora High School. The Raiders of Wayne Trace on top of Tenora, 43-33. to And a, a game that was three points at halftime. It was tied uh, about a minute and a half into this third quarter. And then Wayne Trace started to, you know, you saw a little bit of relaxed zone defense. And then uh, Coach Linder says, no, nah, let's turn up the pressure a little bit. And uh, just like that, they've exploded this lead up to 10. 43-33, so we'll see if uh, Wayne Trees continues to put on the pressure. Rams will inbound from the side, and yep, we're going to see some more of that double team pressure. Looking to go in the corner, and they'll pass it out almost over the uh, mid, over the uh, half court line. Spicella with it inside, and it'll be a penalty. Shot was up for Alex Homeyer. And the Wayne Trace foul will be on Kyle Stoller, his first. Team first of the quarter. But Alex Homeyer will go to the line. Shooting two here for Tenora. First one off the back of the iron, no good. 43-33 on our Marco's Pizza scoreboard. Minute 43 to go in our third quarter. Here on DC TV Sports. Second from Stoll, or excuse me, from Homeyer. Again, off the back of the iron, no good. So he misses them both. 
And the Wayne Chase Raiders will work quickly to the other end. Looking for Brooks Lonkoff. Turnaround jumper for three is good. He's got five Premier Bank three pointers on the night for fifth, or excuse me, he's got 16 points, adding in that one free throw a little bit ago. Tenor Wook, the perimeter again, double teamed, and they lose possession. Brooks Lockoff with it quickly the other way, lays it up and in, coast to coast. Brooks Lockoff, his first two point field goal of the night. And it's quickly a 15-point lead for Wayne Trace, 48 to 33. Full court pressure stolen away by Lockoff. And he'll lay it up and in. And just like that, the Wayne Trace Raiders have turned it on in this final two minutes. As now you're seeing a half court pressure. And Tenora just not able to handle the double teams very well. A lot of turnovers, long three ball on the way from Spicella off the mark, no good. Rebound Wayne Trace, 30 seconds and rolling in this third quarter. Coach Linder is saying let's maybe slow this down a little bit, wait for that last shot. Can they stick with just one more shot? 10 seconds and rolling. Inside to Stoller and shot is no good, he's gonna be fouled. Let's see who this one's on. It's going to be on Adam Spicella. That's his second team third of the quarter. Kyle Stoller will go to the line. I'd shoot two for Wayne Trace. 4.9 seconds to go in the quarter. Stoller at the line for two. Front end is off the iron, no good. As we'll get some subs here for both teams. Josh Bush with you here on DC TV Sports, live from Tenora High School tonight. Thanks for watching on our YouTube channel. Stoller in on the back end of a two free throws and misses them both. Balls on the ground. He'll just throw it up at the net and <laughs> no dice. We played three here at T Tenora. The Wayne Trace Raiders leading Tenora by a score of 50 to 33. Fourth quarter next here on DC TV Sports. Welcome back to Tenora. Wayne Trace on top of the Rams, uh, 50 to 33. Let's get a uh, Mark Motes Ford stats summary. For Tenora, just five points in the quarter, and they all came from Owen Ackerman, who uh, had a three and a uh, two. So that puts him at seven on the night. For Wayne Trace, uh, and there we go. We talked about it. Brooks Lockoff, his ability to kind of turn things on and get going. He had 11 in the quarter. Two threes, a pair of field goals, and a free throw. Added to the nine he had in the first quarter. He is uh, now 20 on the night. Six points in the quarter for Carter Clemens and uh, two in the quarter for Kyle Stoller. Puts him at 14 for the night. And that's a Mark Motes Ford stat summary as we open up the fourth quarter here at Tenora High School. Josh Bush with you here on DC TV Sports. Good to have you along. Final eight minutes in this Green Meadows Conference matchup. Both teams looking to stay undefeated in conference play. Wayne Trace 2-0 in uh, the GMC. Tenora just 1-0 in the GMC. Obviously some games last Friday night were not played due to the weather. Tenora opens up with the possession. Uh, three ball in the corner. Off the mark, no good for Rittenhouse. Rebound Wayne Trace, they'll quickly go the other way. Brooks Lockoff thought about the three, and then he'll just dish it under the basket. Looking for Kale Wannins. Shot is contested and no good. Rebound to Nora, and will come quickly the other way. Coach Linder was asking where the foul was under the basket, but they're going to let him play all night. As Josh Lieb 
loses control. Spicella will check back in for the Rams. Nope, now we get a Caden Sin will check in for Wayne Trace. I thought maybe he got to the table a little late, but they let him come in. Nonetheless, here we go. Winans will bring it across the timeline for Wayne Trace. Guarded out time by Connor Welling. He'll pick up his dribble. Stoller into Hudson Myers. Myers with his first basket of the half. Wayne Trace lead now 52 33. As the waiter, Raiders are pulling away. His pass stolen away by Brooks Lockoff, and he'll be fouled. This one will be on Ackerman. That is his third. Be the first of the quarter. Brooks Lockoff will go to the free throw line for the Raiders. He'll have two. First one is up and in. Alvin Fredrickson checks in for the Rams. Back into the two free throws on the way and good for Brooks Lockoff who makes them both. Now with 22 on the night. Ackerman the other way. Spin move up and in and the Rams senior back the other way. Three-pointer off the mark by Hudson Myers, who quickly comes up and steals that one away. Shot blocked by Connor Welling. Rams will push it the other way. Inside out, back up top. This is Fredrickson. Ackerman drives the lane. And the basket is good. And the foul will go on Kyle Stoller or Wayne Trace. So that is his second, team first of the quarter. Ackerman will go to the line. He'll look to finish off the old three-point play. And his free throw off the mark and no good. Rebound Wayne Trace. They'll push it the other way. Now look to slow it down. Tanner Lockoff with it. Now to Caden Sin over to Brooks Lockoff. Long three ball, drains it. It's another Premier Bank three pointer for Brooks Lockoff. And I think it's a. He knocked it into the face of the Tenora Ram. So it'll be Wayne Trace basketball. Hudson Meyer, excuse me, Stoller thought about the three-pointer. Drives the lane and draws the foul on Spicello. That'll be his third. Team's second of the quarter. And that's going to send Kyle Stoller to the free throw line. 0 for 2 tonight so far. And he makes the first one there. Brady Miller back into the ball game for Wayne Trace. As Stoller, his second one is up and in. So 0 for 2 for his first uh, trip. 2-0. Two, oh. 2 for 2, excuse me, in his second trip. Wayne Trace will bring it the other way. Kyle Stoller. Looking to go coast to coast, drives the lane up and in. Kyle Stoller. 60 to 37, Wayne Trace. Lead now at 23. Mind you, this was a three point game at halftime and a game that was tied early on in the third quarter. As the Raiders have put on the Jets here. 
As you're going to see some fresh minutes here for Tyson Gerber. Also, Carter Clemens checking in. Ackerman's three-pointer off the mark, no good. Raiders will push it the other way. Linder looking to get some quality minutes on a Friday night here for some of his younger guys. Long three-pointer is nothing but the bottom of the net for Caden Sin. His first points of the night, it's a Premier Bank three-pointer. Tenora looking the other way. Ackerman, three ball off the iron, no good. Rebound will go to the Raiders. Four and a half and rolling in the ball game. Three ball off the iron, no good for Tyson Gerber. Rams will bring it the other way. Look to set up a little offense here. Looking inside out. Spicella with it. Now over to Rittenhouse. Back out to Welling. Ackerman drives baseline. A shot no good. And Tenora Faithful maybe wanted a penalty under the basket, but not happening. These refs have really let them play pretty physical most of the night. Three ball right side is up and good for Caden Sin, and he's got a pair of Premier Bank three-pointers in this fourth quarter. Wayne Trace now on top, 66-37 on our Marco's Pizza scoreboard. Three-pointer the other way, in and out, no good. Rebound to Nora. Rams will keep possession. Ackerman out top. Rittenhouse right corner, Ackerman another three-point shot is up and in. And Ackerman a Premier Bank three-pointer. And we got a timeout. We'll take it with them. It's a first insurance group timeout. We're back after this on DC TV Sports. Welcome back to Tenora High School. Josh Bush with you on this Friday night. Green Meadows Conference basketball here on DC TV Sports. Good to have you along as we are coming out of a first insurance group timeout. The Tenora Rams pep band. As you look in there at the Wayne Trace bench, Coach Linder giving instructions to some younger players. Some fresh shirts out there for both teams. 66-40, the Wayne Trace lead. Final three minutes of the ball game as the Raiders will set that offense. Brady Miller. Tanner Lockoff. To go inside, shot up, and Tyson Gerber. The Tenora foul will be on Alden Friedrichsen, excuse me, his first. And that will send Tyson Gerber to the free throw line. And the junior sinks the first one. Makes the seventh Wayne Trace Raider to hit the scorebook tonight. And the second one off the mark, no good. So one for two there for Tyson Gerber. 
67-40. Back the other way with the Rams. Three ball on the way and good. Josh Lieb. His first points of the night coming here in a Premier Bank three-pointer. So we've got a lineup change timeout here for Wayne Trey, so we'll keep it here. Well, Wayne Trace, uh, as we knew coming in, was going to be a tough test here for Tenora. And uh, the Rams, give credit, stuck with them. Led early in this ball game, just three points was the Wayne Trace lead at halftime, but the Raiders really poured it on here in this second half. Brady Miller, the eighth Raider in the scorebook tonight. Rams will bring it the other way. Work the perimeter, perimeter excuse me, that's Friedrichsen. Now over to Mason McQuillan. Now Connor Welling with it. Back to Friedrichsen, work the perimeter to lead. Left corner, three ball on the way, off the mark, no good for Connor Welling. Out of bounds, and it'll be Wayne Trace basketball. As Caden Sin checks back in for the Raiders. 69-43. 26-point lead here for Wayne Trace as we approach the final minute of the basketball game on what is a, an extremely fast-paced night. Three ball all the way. Off the mark, no good for Caden Sin. Rebound Rams. Tomorrow will bring it back the other way. Friedrichsen with it. Dishes off for a three ball from Cooper Farrell. In and out, no good. Outlet pass back the other way for Wayne Trace. Lance Manley with it. Now a long three ball off the iron. It hit the back of the basket, so they're going to say no basket for Tyson Gerber. He wanted that Premier Bank three-pointer. 40 seconds and ticking here. From Tenora. Rams bring it across the timeline. Work the perimeter. Inside to Lieb. Drives baseline. Dishes it off to McQuillan. Shot up and no good. Raiders will bring it the other way. And they'll just be content to let this final 15 seconds tick off here. The Wayne Trace Raiders are going to improve to 11 and 1 with a 69 to 43 win over the Tenora Rams. That's your final score tonight. Wayne Trace 69, Tenora 40, excuse me, 42. I think they adjusted that. 69 42, your final score. Our stack, or excuse me, our Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center post game show is next here on DC TV Sports. Welcome to our Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center post game show here on DC TV Sports. Josh Bush with you as uh, the uh, Wayne Trace Raiders will cap off a uh, impressive second half and knock off the Tenor Rams here tonight by a final score of 69 to 43. As we recap the scoring, uh, Tenora came out with an early lead over Wayne Trace, but uh, the Raiders would uh, lead it 17 to 10 after the first quarter. And then uh, it got close again going into halftime. Wayne Trace would go into the locker room leading 31 to 28. 50 to 33 as uh, they really started to exert themselves in that 
uh, third quarter, outscoring the Rams 19 to five in that third quarter. And then our final score tonight, 69 to 43 on our Marcos Pizza scoreboard. For the Wayne Trace Raiders, they improved to 11 and one, three and zero in the Green Meadows Conference. Obviously, we'll have to uh, see what uh, happens with uh, Antwerp tonight, but uh, that should keep them at least tied atop the standings for Tenora. They'll fall to two and nine, one and one in the Green Meadows Conference. Another timeout on our Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show. When we come back, we'll get you some stats and more. Wrap this one up here from uh, Tenora here on DC TV Sports. Welcome back to our uh, Brunswick Eye and Post Game Show, our co Contact Lens Center Post Game Show. I saw myself on TV and uh, that frightened me. So, <laughs> final score tonight here on our Marcos Pizza scoreboard. Wayne Trace, winner, 69 to 43. Let's take a look at some of our uh, final uh, stat summary. Of course, unofficial stats. Our Mark Motes Ford stat summary. Let's uh, take a look first for the Wayne Trace Raiders, who improved to. 11 and 1, 3 and 0 in the Green Meadows Conference. Saw eight guys hit the scorebooks tonight, and they were led by Brooks Lockoff, who himself had six Premier Bank three pointers uh, to lead all scorers tonight with 25. Kyle Stoller with 18 points tonight for Wayne Trace. Uh, Hudson Myers had eight. Caden Sin and Carter Clemens each with six. Tanner Lockoff with four. Brady Miller with two and Tyson Gerber that one free throw in the fourth quarter it all adds up to a final of 69 for the Wayne Trace Raiders for Tenora struggling uh, really in that second half uh, putting points on the board uh, they were outscored uh, quite a bit in that second half uh, led in scoring tonight by Owen Ackerman who had 14 Adam Spicella three Premier Bank three pointers in that first half he had nine Alex Homeyer with eight, Aiden Rittenhouse with seven, and Josh Lieb with three, and Connor Welling with two points tonight. That's our Mark Motes Ford stat summary. It all adds up to a Wayne Trace victory here tonight. One final timeout on our Midwest, or excuse me, on our Brunswick Eye and Contact Lens Center postgame show. When we come back, we'll take a look at some uh, candidates for our Steichman Automotive Group Player of the Game. We'll do that next here on DC TV Sports. Welcome back to Tenora High School. Final score on our, Mar our Marcos Pizza scoreboard tonight. Wayne Trace a winner, 69-43, to 43, as we look for some candidates for our Steichman Automotive Group player of the game. And we'll take a look uh, first for the Tenora Rams. Uh, he can't say enough about what Owen Ackerman did here tonight, uh, leading scorer again for the Rams tonight at 14 points and uh, really kind of directed traffic out there. I'll tell you what, Adam Spicella, uh, really impressed me tonight. He crashed the boards. Uh, I don't have uh, rebound stats up here tonight, but uh, if I did, I would imagine he might have probably hit double digits in rebounds tonight. He was all over the place when it comes to uh, hitting the boards here tonight for Tenora. Let's take a look on the other side for the uh, Wayne Trace Raiders. Uh, you know, there's a, a, all kinds of guys you can look at as far as uh, scoring here tonight. Uh, 
Kyle Stoller always does a nice job inside for Wayne Trace in the uh, couple of games that I've seen. I thought Hudson Myers did a nice job as well. But what can you say? Brooks Lockoff tonight and every night uh, started off a little bit slow, had those three three pointers in the first quarter and then uh, kind of went uh, a little bit dry in the second quarter. Uh, but then just absolutely turn it on in coming out of the locker room in the second half. He uh, goes into the locker room with nine, comes and finishes the game with 25. So uh, on a night that looked like uh, it might be a little bit uh, short of that season average, he hits it right on the mark. Uh, 25 points tonight. Brooks Lockoff of Wayne Trace, our Steichman Automotive Group player of the game. So congratulations to that young man. Well, uh, and again, congratulations to uh, Wayne Trace. Uh, great showing again here tonight. A very, very talented basketball team uh, for Tenora. They'll fall to 2-9, and 1-1 one and one in the Green Meadows Conference. And we'll take a look here. They're going to be back in action coming up uh, tomorrow. They'll be on the road at Stryker for Wayne Trace. They improved to 11-1, and 3-0 in the Green Meadows Conference. And they'll be back at it uh, tomorrow on the road at Berlin Highland. So they've got a little bit of a trip ahead of themselves tomorrow night. I want to say a big thanks to uh, Jake Essig and everybody here at Tenora High School. They are tremendous and always helpful. We appreciate everything that they do for us. I want to say a big thanks to our entire production team as well. We got uh, Tim and Will and Alex. And of course, the man behind, the, the genius behind it all is, uh, of course, John. So big thanks to uh, our entire production crew. On behalf of DCTV Sports, we want to thank you for tuning in tonight and watching what is a 69-43 Wayne Trace victory, Green Meadows Conference boys basketball here tonight on DCTV Sports. Have a great weekend, everybody.